our esteemed guest of honor, Senator Francis Cheese Escudero, our erudite forum resource speakers, Ms. Pia Romantaya, uh, Director for Inclusive Finance Advocacy Office, and concurrent head, Financial Consumer Protection Department of the Banco Central of Filipinas, and Dr. Alvin Ang, Professor of the Department of Economics and Director of the Ateneo Center for Economic Research and Development, our President and CEO of PJ Dolier Group of Companies, John Henry Dolier, our Senior Executive Vice President, Philip Andre Dolier, the Board of Directors of the Cebuano Dolier Rural Bank, the Cebuano Dolier Management Team, dear media friends and valued guests, a pleasant and inclusive day to all of you. On behalf of the entire Cebuano Dolier team, it is my honor to welcome all of you to this Financial Inclusion Forum. We at Cebuano Dolier have always believed that every Filipino should have all the means necessary to be able to take control of their lives, most especially their finances. We believe in this not only because it is intrinsic in our business, but more importantly, we see the disparity and the disadvantages of those in the marginalized sector. However, we also see the potential. The potential of every Filipino being empowered to make their lives better, wherein everyone has the same access and opportunity. We do believe that no one has to fall so that others may rise in order to achieve inclusivity. We can all grow together at different paces and in different places, but all running towards their own goals. That, for us, is what inclusive growth is all about. Now, imagine if all Filipinos would have the same mindset. We'd be a country opening opportunities and offering a helping hand to those who truly need it. While it is the responsibility of our government to ensure that even the most basic definition of financial inclusion is delivered to the people, it is also important for the private sector to do its share in making this mission a reality. This is exactly why Cebuano Dolier is spearheading this forum. The road to financial inclusion is not paved by just a few. We need everyone to build the path that we will all journey on. As part of our advocacy and innate values that are grounded on inclusivity, we are holding this forum in the hope of shedding light on the need of our collective action to achieve financial inclusion. Because beyond discussing ideas, it is now imperative that we take tangible steps in realizing these ideas. We welcome you to this forum and to this advocacy. It is with exuberant hope that everyone in this room would be a catalyst for this initiative. Our collective efforts would finally break down the hindrances that keep many Filipinos unbanked and excluded, and thus paving a road wide enough for everyone to walk down. I hope that we might have a very fruitful and inclusive session this afternoon. Thank you very much, Ma'am Kasimbo. And thank you very much for your welcome remarks, Sir Dennis.